Nine twelve now. Well, a father and son duo dedicated their time to helping people uh, grow fresh, organic food right from home. And that's where uh, Huli Ortiz is live, taking a look at Sac Edible Yards. Hey, Huli. Hey, good morning to you, uh, Jordan. I think you are. Uh, we're in your element here. Look at all the, <laughs> I plants, see the plants that are here. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Okay, you guys, are you ready for this? I found professionals. They actually help people start their garden. Like they do it for you, and they fill it up. Can you believe it? It's really, it really happens. So, I mean, so as you mentioned, it's a father-son duo. They started Sacramento Edible Yards, and as I is actually planting the basil right now. Um, but this is their yard, beautiful, and all kinds of fun stuff. I've got Jared with me this morning. Good morning to good you. Good morning. Good morning. Now, and this is a, the other interesting thing is that they just moved here a few years ago from Hawaii, and your musicians and COVID hit, right? And your son wanted to start a business, and you're like, oh, well, let's do gardening. And now it's really kind of grown. You've learned that there's a lot. Of people that don't know how to start a garden. A lot of people <laughs> need, need some help with their gardens for I, sure. I included. Oh, oh my wonderful! Gosh. Yeah. So take a look. We I did learn that we're kind of at the end, right? So we're working toward the fall. We're working so. right now. The big thing is getting ready for the fall planting. Yeah. In Sacramento, you can grow year round. Right. So there's different cycles of plants to, to plant. I'm we telling you guys. We also still plant a lot of fruit trees, install drip systems. You that know. is awesome. Okay, so this is what they do. Take a look. These are the planter boxes. And look at they're all nice and full. Now they don't come all nice and full, but but they help you get here. He swears that he can help anybody grow vegetables. Clearly he hasn't met me. <laughs> I failed miserably, Jared. All right, so here's what it looks like. So you actually come in, you talk to people a little bit about what they can grow. Yep. A lot of times you said that they ask for things that probably can't grow at this time. Yeah, yeah, it depends, you know, but uh, we, we make sure that people are successful growing yes. food. That's the main thing. We don't want to uh, just build a box and leave. We right, want people right. to actually have successful growing and, and harvest food from their yard. That is so awesome. So you set up the planter box, you set up the drip system, and then do you do you just say, okay, peace out, or you come back and you help us? No, we, we, can, <laughs> we can help. We can also be available uh, via messenger yeah. so that people can connect with us. And uh, sometimes it's, um, I've got these bugs on my plant, or why isn't my tomato yeah. producing? And we like to answer those questions. Gosh, and so you got some fruit trees over there as well. And this again, you started this. This you, something you wanted to start. Yeah, I wanted to start this. Uh, it was about three weeks before COVID that yes. I first mentioned it, um, and then about a week after that, we decided to actually start. And it was really slow at first, but then COVID hit, yeah. and everyone was freaking out, <laughs> and they decided. Well, I guess now's the time. Not, now's the time to start a garden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We went from nothing to about 30 messages a day, oh and we gosh. were booked seven days a week, two gardens a day, oh my until gosh. finally that was too much, and we went down to one a day and six days a week. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. Well, there you go. And and you guys, so I mentioned they were, they were living in Hawaii first, and then they came here, yeah. right? Well, my wife grew up right next door, yeah. and we were in Hawaii living there happily, and the lava eruption went under our house oh and blew up down the street. Oh my and gosh. so we went and stayed with Grandma while that was happening, That's a and sign. eventually the lava didn't stop, yeah. and so we uh, this house opened up for rent, and we moved over here. Moved over here. And now yeah. you've got this booming business, yeah. this growing business. It's been <laughs> great, yeah. And we've always grown food. I mean, since yeah. the kids were little, we've yeah. always grown food in the yard. So clearly they know what they're doing, my friends. It is called Sacramento Edible Yards. If you need a little help getting your garden started, they can help you out. But I am telling you, I am learning so much about this gardening thing, you guys. I feel like every day my thumb gets a little bit darker shade of green. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to try it? Are you going to try a garden? Come on, do it. Do it. No, garden. no. <laughs> I'm going to call Jared. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Smart girl. Awesome.